Oh my god, Dr. Thanos is dying. I need 20 cc's of Corvus Glaive and a dose of hell stat. I'm ashamed of how long that intro took. Oh my god, this deck is cracked. <laughs> What's up, darts? So, Thanos is actually still pretty playable, dare I say, good. So Thanos now starts in the leftmost spot in your hand, which sucks. It's kind of like a reverse old America Chavez. You basically have one less chance of drawing a stone or whatever. But if you play Corvus Glaive, now it just kind of serves as like a good target for Corvus. And then the rest of the deck, you're packing more six cost cards than you usually would to give Corvus better targets and to make your Hella better. But um, what I like about this is you don't have to play Hella to make this deck function properly at all. You can just ramp into powerful stuff with the Corvus play or just with Hope Summers. We have Kyara here to uh, protect everything from getting shanked. And then the uh, last part about this deck that I really do like is uh, Scar and Mockingbird together. If we play a Hella early, that brings back two 10 power things. It makes your Scar super cheap and then your Mockingbird is super cheap. Um, either way though, this deck can usually get like, you know, a, a cheap to free Mockingbird and then a reduced Scar um, before the game ends on the same turn potentially sometimes too, which is pretty sick. Now the top player on the ladder right now is running something similar to this. I believe they are using Shang-Chi instead of Cole Obsidian and something instead of Kyra and Jeff, I believe. So if you're going to mess around with any of the cards in this list or you don't have Cole Obsidian or something, those will be your flex slots. Kyra, Cole Obsidian, and probably Jeff as well. That's the deck. Game time. All right. Uh, decent hand. This is all right. Wouldn't mind to draw stone. Okay. Um, so knowing that it's Living Tribunal, we're going to assume that he's doing Iron Man stuff as well so i'm actually gonna hang on to the soul stone to keep it um to like really reduce their uh their iron man lane i'll just play jeff over there okay well this is it's actually pretty good so like we know that he's gonna want to play everything at daily bugle basically so okay this is magic probably yeah okay <clears throat> um okay great we don't let's play time stone here and soul stone here and then um we can pull like his magic around and mess with this power output a little bit there <clears throat> excuse me super scroll all right that's totally fine um, let's do Cold Obsidian here and Space Stone here, and then we'll adjust. Well, actually, maybe it should. Yeah, well, let's do that. Let's do this. Figure out where he's going to invest the most. Okay, there's the Iron Man stuff. Iron Man. So, um, we can probably... Just move the time stone here. Let's um, let's go with Magneto here now, just to reduce the amount of um things he can play into the Iron Man lane. Yeah, that works. We can keep Jeff there. There's no reason to play it out right now. <clears throat> Such. Great. I was just worried about like a uh, um, onslaught there. Um, okay, cool. Now we can put Jeff over there. Probably it's fine. Um, and we want another lane to be at like 25-ish power here. So let's go blob here. I, I, nah, let's play them both in one. Let's go blob here. Mockingbird there as well. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're fine. I wanted to stack Blob and Mockingbird in the same lane. Because uh, if we put Mockingbird in the middle, obviously that wouldn't have won. And yeah, you get my point. Victory. Yeah. This is the, the worst thing about this deck, because you get some really awkward draws sometimes, and it's a bit of a bummer. 
this is fine though. At least we have like some sort of curve. Jeff and the Kyra. Kyra, Kyra. Sunspot, okay. Tarnax is kinda booty. I don't like that location at all. Oh, this is solid. Now let's go Jeff here. Pull the Red Hulk, please. Yeah. The worst thing you could have pulled, man. Alright, well, hopefully we draw a Pella at some point. And they got rid of the two cards. <laughs> okay, that was bad. Um, Alright, well, let's just put Kyra over there. And um, we can play Space Stone over here. That's fine. Pretty much most one drops are going to be better than a Space Stone. And also we get to shift something over there if we want. I like the sound effect Kyra makes. Um, that sucks. That sucks. Alright, let's just go Mindstone. He's got a mojo there, so I'm not sure I want to put something over there as well. Call Obsidian into Tarnax. I feel like that's a bad play, so we'll just do this. And then next turn we can go stole into Cold stole <laughs> stone into Cold Obsidian. Cool. Happy with both those. Great. Um, he's gonna draw Hope or Stone. Okay, cool. How do you get that? How do you get that? Do you oh yeah, he played a cable. Um, interesting. I think I should go Soul Stone, Reality Stone, Coal Obsidian. That'll basically give us a cheap or free Mockingbird, I think. No, it'll cost one. Um, but we have an extra energy from the Corvus, and then we can move Jeff around if this is not enough to win Astro Dam. Not bad. Okay. <clears throat> That's great. <laughs> A rescue. Oh, he got hit by the um, scorpion. Okay, so um, Cold Obsidian should just win Asteroid M. Um, well, he's going to get like, what, plus, plus five? Um, yeah, so he's going to have to float like a metric shit ton to win Asteroid M with that play. Oh, perfect. Um, I discarded two cards. They're both huge. So we should just play it here. And do... Um, I think I got Mockingbird here as well. Because I want the biggest thing possible to go to Stark Tower so we don't put Mockingbird there. Yeah, we do this. Super sick. Okay. Good and super good. That's rough. Oh my god. All right, cool. Still, we, we still won with the asteroid down. GG. Um. Okay. Yeah. I guess. We just play the rocket. Actually, no, we don't need to play the rocket. That's fine. Just go Mindstone in Hope Summers. This is pretty, pretty all right. Although the Subterranea really blows. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we go Mindstone here. Now we have a reason to play rock, so we can pull Cole, put Call Obsidian into play. All right, we got a Ravona. I'm gonna assume this is like a Professor X type deck. Which means Onslaught Citadel is quite good for him. Um, let's go Hope Summers here. And then we can go uh, Soul Stone over there, which is pretty big. And then we'll probably play a rocket. Oh, okay. Oh, that sucks. Um, huh. Wish I wouldn't have done that. 
Um, all right, well, this is fine. All right, let's go Soulstone here, Kyra here. And then that lets us play Thanos next turn. Viking Bird, not bad. I think we're okay with letting his Nebula grow here. Let's just play Thanos out over there. Okay. Well, I can't really expect to win that, but I guess I could put up a fight by going like Cole Obsidian, Rock, Rock. Um, yeah, I mean, we're still at quite a bit over at Limbo. Basically, we're playing Cole over there to like force him to try to win it. Like, he's gonna have to put something else there. And we're still up at the other lanes, so this is all right. Ooh, here comes an infinite for sure. Um, oh, that's sick. All right, so I think we go Mockingbird here, Blob here. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna play like Infinite and Ebony Maw. Um, Ebony Maw is probably gonna go to Limbo. And then Infinite, yeah, we just gotta, we're putting Blob here, yeah, yeah. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Maybe we go Blob and Mockingbird at, on the same lane to like super flip it you know what I think he's gonna go infinite ebony maw and ebony maw is gonna go to limbo and infinite is gonna go like to the middle so let's go blob and mockingbird in the middle to beat the infinite that I think is hitting Okay, that was a weird play on his part, but yeah. All right, <laughs> still won. Either play would have won, but I guess I was playing around the the like one way I could really lose. Oh, righty, righty, righty. Luke's bar. This hand really sucks, but at least we have protection in it. Oh, come on, dude. That's so stupid. Oh, you think your hand's bad? How about an ice box? Thank you. Piece of shit. Okay. Um, let's just play Power Stone over here. We don't want to clog the middle too much. Because Angela's going to put output some decent power, and we don't want to clog it with low power stuff. Great. I guess we go... Let's go Hope Summers over here. <clears throat> Man, this is fucking terrible. Okay, I mean, I guess that's kind of cool. We can get lucky. Let's Corvus Glaive here and maybe we draw Hella. Maybe. Probably not. This game's a loss for sure. <laughs> Alright, so that gives us 8 energy next turn. Uh, oh shit, we might win. <laughs> we draw like Mockingbird or Hella. This is going to be pretty sick. Okay. Um, this might win. <laughs> No, we're putting Mindstone on the left just to have one power there, uh, so we can't just win it for free, basically. Um, hopefully he just doesn't try to win Los Diablos, and then our Hulk is more than enough at the icebox. It's kind of absurd that we could win this game. <laughs> Holy shit. Please don't be a Shang-Chi. <laughs> Alright, cool, you guess you guess Shang-Chi in the wrong lane. No business winning that game. <laughs> Alright, that is a goddamn trashy hand. And it just got worse. Okay. Mindstone, please. 
All right, well, he's got a blob. <laughs> a seven energy blob. Very cute. All right, well. It's as if this game couldn't get any worse. I have nothing but big things, and he has a Cheng Chi. Great. Super great. Yeah, that helps. That definitely helps. Now we can go Hope and a Mockingbird. Um, sure. Let's just do Hope there. I don't want to mess with Hollow, really. I mean, I probably could win it, actually, just with a Hope and a Mockingbird, but there's no reason to push my luck. Uh, but yeah, let's just go Mockingbird here. And um, at this point, we have enough... We're going to have enough big things at the end of the game to handle a Shang-Chi that he has. So that's actually not too bad. Let's go. Let's go Magneto here to give us an extra energy so I can go Soulstone and like Red Hulk next turn. And we're going Magneto to pull his Hope Summers away so he doesn't get this extra energy he's about to try to get. Okay. Um, let's see, so if I go, huh, if I do my own Shang, that'll beat his Shang, and then we should go, um, Jeff and the Soulstone. It's either that or... Just try to... He'll be at 60. If I go Soulstone here, I will be at uh, 14 and he will be at 16. He'll be at 14 as well. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. This and this. I think that wins. Because our Shang Chi is going to move his Silk away, and then our uh, two cards are going to move the Silk away. And even if Silk goes in the middle, we still win. So not a bad win, not bad at all. All right. <laughs> Can't Shang Chi everything. Well, I mean, I guess he could. Victory. Hey, thanks for making it to start in the video. Um, the deck's still good, really. Yes, it's worse than it was before, but I think in comparison to everything else people are doing on the ladder right now, I don't really ever feel like I have no shot. However, sometimes this deck has completely trash draws. It almost feels like if you draw some stones early, then you're probably going to win. But then 30 to 40% of the time, you just sit there playing like nothing because your hand is nothing but six drops but still in the end it all evens out and i would suggest you give this list a try if you're a fan of thanos thanks so much for watching uh please like and subscribe it would make me very happy later nerds i need 20 cc's of corvus clave and a dose of hell stat